Ricky Dean Gervais is an English comedian, actor, writer, and director. He co created, co wrote, and acted in the British television sitcoms The Office, Extras, and An Idiot Abroad. He also created, wrote, and starred in Derek, and Afterlife. He has won seven BAFTA awards, five British Comedy Awards, two Primetime Emmy Awards, three Golden Globe Awards, and the Rose Door twice. Gervais was listed in The Observer as one of the 50 funniest performers in British comedy in 2003. In 2007, he was placed at number 11 on Channel 4's 100 Greatest Stand-Ups, and at number 3 in their 2010 list. In 2010, he was included in the Time 100 list of world's most influential people. Gervais initially worked in the music industry. He attempted a career as a pop star in the 1980s as the singer of the new wave act Sina Dancing, and managed the then unknown band Suede before turning to comedy. He appeared on the 11 o'clock show on Channel 4 between 1998 and 2000, garnering a reputation as an outspoken and sharp witted social provocateur. In 2000, he was given a Channel 4 spoof talk show, Meet Ricky Gervais. He achieved greater mainstream fame the following year with his BBC television mock documentary series The Office, followed by Extras in 2005, both of which he CO wrote and CO directed with Stephen Merchant, and in which he played the lead roles of David Brent and Andy Millman. He wrote, directed, and starred in the 2016 comedy film David Brent, Life on the Road. Gervais began his stand up career in the late 1990s. He has performed five multinational stand-up comedy tours, and he wrote the Flanimals book series. Gervais, Merchant, and Carl Pilkington created the podcast The Ricky Gervais Show, which has spawned various spin-offs starring Pilkington and is produced by Gervais and Merchant. Gervais has also starred in the Hollywood films Ghost Town, The Night at the Museum Trilogy, For Your Consideration, and Muppets Most Wanted. He wrote, directed, and starred in The Invention of Lying and the Netflix released special correspondence. He hosted the Golden Globe Awards in 2010, 2011, 2012, 2016, and again in 2020. Gervais also appeared on the game show Child Support. He is also the creator, executive producer, writer, and director of the Netflix comedy drama series After Life in which he plays the lead role of Tony Johnson. Family Background Ricky's father, Lawrence Raymond Jerry Gervais, a Franco-Ontarian of French-Canadian and Iroquois descent from Payne Court, Ontario, emigrated to the UK whilst on foreign duty during the Second World War. He worked as a labourer and hot carrier before he met Gervais's English mother, Eva Sophia. They met during a blackout and settled in Whitley in Reading, having four children over a 16-year period. Eva died at age 74 of lung cancer. Ricky, the youngest child, has three older siblings, schoolteacher Larry, Marcia, a pedagogue for special needs children, and painter-decorator Bob. Gervais has spoken of his appreciation for his family's extreme sense of humor. He told BBC Radio 4S Desert Island Discs that he and his brother Bob spent most of their mother's funeral crying with laughter. They had been asked by the vicar to tell him something about their mother prior to the service, with Gervais saying, My brother, just winding up the vicar, said, she was a keen racist. And the vicar said, I can't say that. So Bob went, Oh, okay then, she liked gardening. He has mentioned in interviews that as an 11-year-old, he asked why his siblings were so much older than he was, his mum bluntly told him he was a mistake. Early Life and Education Gervais was born on June 25, 1961 at Battle Hospital in Reading, Berkshire. He was brought up in the Reading suburb of Whitley, with a sister, Marcia, and brothers Larry and Robert. Prompted by Robert 
Gervais began to question the existence of God from about age 8. Gervais attended Whitley Park Infants and Junior Schools and received his secondary education at Ashmead Comprehensive School. After a gap year which he spent working as a gardener at the University of Reading, he attended University College London in 1980. He intended to study biology but changed to philosophy after two weeks, and was awarded an upper second class honours degree in the subject from University of London in 1983. During his time there, he met Jane Fallon, with whom he has been in a relationship since 1982. Career Music In 1983, during his final year as a student at University College London, Gervais and his best friend Bill McRae formed the new wave pop duo Sana Dancing. They were signed by London Records, which released two of their singles More to Lose and Bitter Heart. The songs failed to make the UK singles chart. Despite not being successful in the UK, Sana Dancing did manage to score a hit in the Philippines with More to Lose. Gervais also worked as the manager for Suede before they became successful in the 1990s. In 2013, Gervais performed a live tour as David Brent along with his band Foregone Conclusion, Brent's fictional band in the office. He and the band performed songs written under the Brent character, including Equality Street and Free Love Freeway. Gervais also produced a series of YouTube videos, Learn Guitar with David Brent featuring acoustic guitar versions of nine songs. In 2016, as part of the Life on the Road film promotion, Gervais published the David Brent songbook of 15 songs, which he also recorded for the album Life on the Road as David Brent and Foregone Conclusion. Radio Gervais worked as an assistant events manager for the University of London Union, then was head of speech at the alternative radio station XFM needing an assistant, he interviewed the first person whose curriculum vitae he read, Stephen Merchant. In 1998 Gervais's position was made redundant when the station was taken over by the Capital Radio Group. Around this time he was also a regular contributor to Mary Ann Hobbs's Radio 1 show performing vox pop interviews in unlikely locations. After the first series of The Office, Gervais and Merchant returned to XFM in November 2001 for a Saturday radio show, where they began working with Carl Pilkington, who produced the shows and later collaborated with them on their series of podcasts. In October 2017, Gervais began hosting the weekly radio show Ricky Gervais's Deadly Serious on Sirius XM, which Ran until 2019. Podcast. Television. Early television appearances. I The Office slash I. None. I Extras slash I. None. I The Ricky Gervais Show slash I. None. I Life's Too Short slash I. None. I An Idiot Abroad slash I. None. I Derek slash I. None. I After Life slash I. None. Stand-up comedy. Gervais began his stand-up career in the late 1990s. His first successful show was at the Café Royal as part of the 2001 Edinburgh Festival Fringe. Titled Rubbernecker, it also featured Jimmy Carr, Robin Ince, and Stephen Merchant. Gervais toured the UK in 2003 with his stand up show Animals. The Politics Tour followed a year later. Both shows were recorded for release on DVD and television broadcast. The third part of the themed live trilogy, Fame, took place in 2007. It started in Glasgow in January and ended in Sheffield in April. Blackpool reported selling out of tickets within 45 minutes of them going on sale. Newsnight Review's panel saw animals during its Bloomsbury run and covered it in January 2003. They were not favorable, with Private Eye editor Ian Hislop saying it was cobbled together, banal, a bit flat. After this, Gervais closed each show by calling Hislop an ugly little pug-faced cunt. 
Fame was the subject of some controversy in January 2007 when Gervais included a routine, ostensibly about how people will do anything to become famous, referring to the murder of prostitutes in Ipswich. Gervais's fourth show was entitled Science, and commenced with an 11-day tour in August 2009 at the Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre in Glasgow. The DVD was released on November 15, 2010. In November 2009, he headlined the sixth annual New York Comedy Festival at Carnegie Hall. In 2013, Gervais announced that his next stand-up show would be called Humanity. In December 2014, he said he was too busy to do the tour due to producing two films. In May 2016, Gervais performed stand-up in London, starting with some low-key warm UPS with cast members from Derek. He said, Finally, I'm going to do some stand-up. The first in about six years if you don't count hosting the Golden Globes. He continued his humanity show throughout 2017 and into 2018. He appeared at SF Sketchfest as part of the tour, which devoted a night in honor of him alongside comedic legend and mentor Christopher Guest. His next tour and Netflix special Supernature was announced in late 2018, where Gervais warned people not to travel to see work in progress as it would be a shambles. Supernature shows continued through 2019 and 2020. Following significant cancellations and postponements as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Supernature tours resumed in August 2021. Supernature received criticism for jokes about transgender people. It won the best stand-up show at the National Comedy Awards. Gervais also announced his upcoming comedy stand-up specials named Armageddon on Netflix. The comedian told Heat that it is still a work in progress. Animation Guest star on television series Entertainment Talk shows Video games Gervais is one of two featured comedians in the video game Grand Theft Auto 4 who performs at the Split Sides Comedy Club on the virtual stand-up stage and as an interviewee on the in-game radio station We Know the Truth. For the stand-up bit a special three-minute act was written, recorded and fully motion captured. Books Iflanimals slash I None. Published television scripts. Other books. Film. Gervais's film career has included small roles as the voice of a pigeon, Bugsy, in 2005's Valiant, as a studio executive in 2000 and SIXS for your consideration, as museum director Dr. McPhee in 2000 and SIXS Night at the Museum and its sequels Night at the Museum. Battle of the Smithsonian and Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb, and as Ferdy the Fence in the 2007 film Stardust. Gervais starred in Ghost Town as a dentist who sees spirits, and was in Lowell, Massachusetts during May 2008 filming his next project, The Invention of Lying, in which he starred alongside Jennifer Garner, Rob Lowe and Louis C.K. The Social Comedy was CO written and CO directed by Gervais and Matt Robinson. Gervais and collaborator Stephen Merchant made a film called Cemetery Junction, set in 1970s Britain, about class, love, and fulfillment. The film was released in April 2010. Gervais starred in Muppets Most Wanted as Dominic Baju, the partner of the movie's villain, Constantine. Gervais directed and starred in Special Correspondence, which began filming in May 2015. The comedy stars Eric Bana as a journalist and Gervais as his assistant. They pretend to report news from a war-torn country but in actuality they are safe in New York. The film was released on Netflix. Gervais directed and starred in the 2016 film David Brent, Life on the Road, a mockumentary following David Brent, a character first seen in the Office series, as he lives his dream of being a rock star. On November 5, 2015 Gervais signed up to play Ika Chu, a villainous cat, 
in an animated film Paws of Fury, The Legend of Hank, originally known as Blazing Samurai. The movie is about a dog played by Michael Sarah, who wants to be a warrior and fights with Ika Chu for the town of Kakamucho. Other Appearances On July 2, 2005, Gervais appeared at the Live 8 event held in London's Hyde Park, where he performed his famous dance from The Office. Concert for Diana and Live Earth On July 1, 2007, Gervais performed at the Concert for Diana in Wembley Stadium, a music event celebrating the life of Princess Diana ten years after her death. Towards the end of the event after a pre-recorded introduction from Ben Stiller Gervais appeared along with fellow Office star Mackenzie Crook. They performed Free Love Freeway, a song previously heard in the fourth episode of Series 1 of The Office. Due to a technical problem, Gervais then had to fill time until he was able to reintroduce Elton John to close the show, so he did the David Brent dance, as well as singing the Little Fat Man song as performed by David Bowie in Episode 2 of the second series of Extras. In July 2007, Following Gervais's appearance at the Memorial Concert for the Princess of Wales, The Guardian ran a column by Daily Mirror television critic Jim Shelley entitled Call Me Crazy. But has Ricky Gervais lost it, where he described Gervais as a tiresome embarrassment? The following week, The Guardian noted that Gervais had responded with an exhilaratingly foul-mouthed tirade on his website concluding with the sentence Yes I am resting on my fucking laurels you cunt. In this video, Gervais mocked Jim Shelley typing the words resting on his laurels as Gervais jokingly lashed out by stating that he was resting on his laurels and that he was not going to make another show for television, quipping, what's the point? What is there to beat? Personal life Gervais has homes in Hampstead, London, and Marlow, Buckinghamshire. He also has an apartment in the Barbizon 63 building in Manhattan, New York City. He has been in a relationship with producer and author Jane Fallon since 1982, and says they chose not to marry because there's no point in us having an actual ceremony before the eyes of God because there is no God or have children because they didn't fancy dedicating 16 years of lives, and there are too many children, of course. He is a vegan an atheist and a humanist, and states that he abandoned religion at the age of eight. In December 2010, he wrote an op-ed for the Wall Street Journal explaining his atheism. He is an honorary associate of the UK's National Secular Society and a patron of Humanists UK, a British charity that promotes the humanist worldview and campaigns for a secular state and on human rights issues. On September 3, 2019, he received the 2019 Richard Dawkins Award, which recognizes people who proclaim the values of secularism and rationalism, upholding scientific truths wherever it may lead. Gervais received the award during a Center for Inquiry-sponsored ceremony at London's Troxy Theatre. Dawkins praised Gervais as a witty hero of atheism and reason. Gervais is a fan of the UFC and Reading FC. He is a music fan and has stated that his hero is David Bowie, with his favorite song being Letter to Hermione. He has also stated that his first experience of a live music gig was watching Iggy Pop. In 2013, he wrote that Lou Reed was one of the greatest artists of our time following Reed's death. Gervais is one of the 100 contributors to the book. Dear NHS, 100 Stories to Say Thank You, of which all proceeds go to NHS charities together and the Lullaby Trust. Political Activism Gervais is a supporter of gay rights and has praised the introduction of same-sex marriage in England and Wales as a victory for all of us, saying anything that promotes equality, promotes progress. You can't take equality too far. In June 2017, Gervais endorsed Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn in the 2017 general election. He tweeted, OK. I'm not telling you how to vote, but this is a fact. The only vote that will keep Theresa May out is a vote for Jeremy Corbyn. 
Cheers. Social Media Gervais joined Twitter in December 2009 when he first hosted the 66th Golden Globes. After a two-year hiatus, he returned to the platform in September 2011. In 2012, Gervais won a Shorty Award for Lifetime Achievement for his popular presence on social media. As of July 2022 he was followed by 15 million fans whom he calls Twonks. Gervais uses social media to promote his work to his fans. After 10 years he brought back his character Brent on his YouTube channel in a web series Learn Guitar with David Brent. He uses many ways to promote his new series, for example for Derek, he posts contests or questions for his fans. Gervais uses social media to raise awareness of animal welfare. He tweets links to petitions to rescue animals from captivity, he highlights the plight of animals being used for testing, and he encourages people to adopt dogs instead of buying them from breeders. He won the Genesis Award from the Humane Society in March 2015 for his contribution to raising awareness for animal welfare on social media. In 2014, he was named Most Influential London Twitter User. Influences Gervais has cited Laurel and Hardy, Groucho Marx, Peter Cook and Christopher Guest as significant influences. The decision of John Cleese to stop making his acclaimed 1970s comedy sitcom Faulty Towers after 12 episodes when it was at its creative height inspired Gervais in keeping his own sitcoms to 12 episodes each. Charity Work Boxing In 2002, Gervais took part in a charity boxing match against Grant Bovey, for the UK charity telethon Comic Relief. He was trained for the three-round contest by boxing trainer brothers Frank and Eugene Maloney, at their Fight Factory Gymnasium. It was the second televised charity boxing match, the first being Bob Mortimer against Lay Dennis. The fight was televised by the BBC and Gervais came out on top by a split decision verdict. He donated his £5,000 prize money to the training of a Macmillan nurse who specialized in cancer support. Animal Rights Gervais is a supporter of animal rights and has stated that he will leave his fortune to animal charities. Gervais named an Asian black bear, also known as a moon bear, Derek after the protagonist from his series Derek. In December 2013, Gervais bought a $1,000 cake shaped like a moon bear to raise funds for Animal Asia. Gervais is active in the prevention of illegal wildlife trade, he supported the handing over of ivory trinkets to the Metropolitan Police in London. In 2015, Gervais donated a signed acoustic guitar to help raise funds for Storybook Farm Primate Sanctuary in Ontario, Canada with a special call-out to Pockets Warhol. The guitar which was signed by Gervais was purchased by Danny Young from the United Kingdom who has since had the guitar signed by several celebrities in order to raise further funds for the storybook farm Primate Sanctuary. Celebrities who signed the guitar include, Brian May, Will Ferrell, Brian Cranston, Tani Harrison, Peter Frampton, Ricky Warwick, and Steve Cutts. In 2017, Gervais was awarded the Lord Houghton Award for Service to Animal Welfare from Animal Defenders International. Gervais was also awarded the Humane Society International Cecil Award in 2018 for his frequent social media efforts to end trophy hunting. Filmography Films Television Video Games Gervais is one of two featured comedians in the video game Grand Theft Auto 4 who performs at the Split Sides Comedy Club on the virtual stand-up stage and as an interviewee on the in-game radio station We Know the Truth. For the stand-up bit a special three-minute act was written, recorded and fully motion captured. Stand-up specials Recurring collaborators Awards and nominations Throughout his career Gervais has won numerous awards including two Primetime Emmy Awards for his work on The Office and Extras. He has also received seven BAFTA Awards, five British Comedy Awards, and three Golden Globe Awards. Bibliography 
Gervais, Ricky. Flanimals. Putnam Juvenile. ISBN 978-0399243974. Gervais, Ricky. More Flanimals. Putnam Juvenile. ISBN 978-0399246050. Gervais, Ricky. Flanimals of the Deep. Faber Children's Books. ISBN 978-0571234035. Gervais, Ricky. Flanimals, The Day of the Bletchling. Faber Children's Books. ISBN 978-0571238514. Gervais, Ricky. Flanimals, A Complete Natural History. Faber Children's Books. ISBN 978-0571238507. Gervais, Ricky. Flanimals Pop-Up. Candlewick. ISBN 978-0399246050. Gervais, Ricky, Merchant, Stephen. Extras, The Illustrated Scripts, Series 1 and 2. Little, Brown Book Group. ISBN 978-0316030397. Gervais, Ricky, Merchant. Stephen. The Office, The Scripps Series 1. BBC Books. ISBN 978-0563488477. Gervais, Ricky, Merchant, Stephen. The Office, The Scripps Series 2. BBC Books. ISBN 978-0563487418. Pilkington, Carl. The World of Carl Pilkington. Hachette Books. ISBN 978-140130342.